Hey guys, it's Michael Lemo here at Norman's Rare Guitars and I'm back with Omer Fetty and he just got a really great 1960 Gibson ES335 so we're gonna, you know, kind of do a little, uh, I don't know, a little race with it. <laughs> let's uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna jam a little bit. How have you been? Everything good? Everything's great. Cool. So is this an original piece or is it just kind of a progression you're jamming on? Just a progression. Cool. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Fire. Oh, you too, man. Always. So, uh, yeah, right now I have a really Beautiful cool guitar. guitar. Uh, Norm, what do you want to say about this one? Okay. So <laughs> okay. This, uh, <laughs> there he is. I've been waiting for this guitar for quite a while from Gibson. Um, we got some of the uh, Murphy Lab guitars and they were good, but this one, uh, I got together with uh, Tom Murphy and this is Murphy Painted which cost me an extra about $2,300 to have him just do the paint. Um, I hand selected this wood, which I paid extra for. Um, we, it's Murphy aged where I had to pay extra for that. Um, it's just, this thing is killer and this top is ridiculous. I mean, I love the top on this and uh, it's like the limit 
to what you could do with a, a Les Paul. I mean, you could put more aging on it, but I don't like them when they're perfect. super, super uh, worn or when they're too perfect. This is light aging, and I think this is just the right combination on this guitar. Beautiful and, guitar. Uh, yeah, really great. But it's hard to go against that 335, but it's, uh, it's an amazing guitar. Well, it's a guitar. different animal, but different animal. for a, a Les Paul reissue, man, what do you think about that? Unbelievable. I think the top, first of all, was uh, like you can notice it from across the room right away and it's super slinky it's got that r9 neck uh, 59 kind of profile but yeah this how guitar does it feel it's ready to go oh yeah it's not that heavy at all um but yeah this thing's ready to go but I mean, in different angles when you look at that thing it's yeah. like a smoking top man i love the wide fat flame and we went through like four or five hundred tops and picked like five or six of them that we liked so absolutely uh, i'm gorgeous. real impressed and i gotta thank my buddy bart in uh, Nashville, yeah, really. who's my eyes down there, who you know goes through all the stuff and he knows what I'm looking for and he says, I think I found some and then he showed me about 25 and we picked six out of them. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. So, really cool great guitar. Work to the I mean, guys. Gibson's really on the right track, doing some beautiful stuff right now. And this is from the golden era of Gibson right there, um, 60 dot neck in that watermelon color which i love and i actually ordered some reissues in that color too, beautiful you know, color so i love it so um you know great to hear two young guys who can play their butts off and, sounds great uh, yeah. such a great guitar player and so Same. cool to have him right back on you well he was saying that uh, he listens to you a lot of time on the uh, yeah. our, uh, every night before i go to sleep i'm checking his videos <laughs> sorry <way>. man <laughs> no, that's okay no i appreciate it it's not weird but it's you know hey it's more importantly thing. i'm hearing him on the radio all the time so that that is a really cool thing and uh, i can't say enough how I, what Norm said earlier, it's so great to just see guitars popping up again more and more. And uh, I've seen him, you know, in different shoots with Jazz Masters. I think I've seen you with just different guitars. Yeah. And, and it's just so cool. It's like, and, and I know that you know exactly what you're doing with them. So guitars are still thing. alive with some of the young yeah. people here. Oh, so. I think he's right yeah. too. I think it's still coming back too. You know, a, a number of years ago, I don't know who was who predicted the demise of guitars. It was probably Gene Simmons. <laughs> Let's be no, I'm honest. Not, I'm not sure who it was. Or Kanye West. But you know what? It is, there is no demise. There's a tremendous demand for it. And guys like you and you are really doing a lot to inspire a lot of other young people to, to play. So, well, I love guitar. That's what we're all here about. Yep. You know, so. We're all part of the club. guitar. And you too are a member of the Guitar Club. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. All right. Love you guys.